The battlefield of a believer looks different every day. One day it may be something physical worn against you, and the next day it may be something emotional, financial, or even spiritual. Whatever the case, the enemy will do whatever he can, changing tactics where he may, to keep you from accomplishing what the Lord has directed. This is certainly the case for Nehemiah in chapter 6. The Jews working with Nehemiah were like the modern day naval Seabees who would take on building projects while engaging in combat, or the Air Force PJs, who would perform battlefield medical services while engaging the enemy. Nehemiah and the Jewish people had been physically defending themselves while building the wall of Jerusalem. But in chapter 6, the wall is being finished and the enemy changes his tactics. Having failed to stop Nehemiah from building the wall, he gathers together the three stooges, Sambalat, Tobiah, and Gisham, the Arab, who conspired against him. First, they try luring Nehemiah to an out-of-town meeting in the plains of Ono. There they plan to kill or capture him. Multiple times they sent messengers, but Nehemiah saw right through their trickery and said, Oh no, I will not go to Oh no. Can't resist it. Next, they threatened to send out false reports into the land that the Jews planned to rebel against the king of Persia. But Nehemiah, he was not discouraged from the great work the Lord commissioned. He instead took courage in the Lord and prayed, O oh God, strengthen my hands. And finally, the enemy sent a false prophet to stir fear into Nehemiah's heart, proclaiming that his life was in threat. They were hoping he would cease his work on the gate and would go and hide. But again, Nehemiah had godly wisdom and did not comply. The wall was finally finished and these amazing words are written. Their enemies were very disheartened in their eyes for they perceived that this work was done by the Lord. May this account of Nehemiah stir encouragement and faith into us as we follow Jesus daily as the enemy tries with different tactics to pull us from loving our God and loving our neighbors. May we resolve to trust the Lord, asking Him to strengthen our hands and not shrink back from doing a great work that the Lord has planned. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.